Hello. Hello, this is Adam Smith calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Is this Professor Allison? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Many, many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Prize. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. This is done. It's really wonderful this morning to wake up. And my son called me at 5.30 and was the first to let me know that I'd won this prize. I want to thank him and Pam Sharma, my partner in life and in science. We work together now trying to improve immunotherapy. I grew up in a little town called Alice, Texas, way down about 30 miles to the Mexican border. My dad was a country doctor who did a lot of house calls. By the time I was in the eighth grade, I knew I wanted to be a scientist and hopefully figure something out that made a difference to people. And what I wanted to do was have the world be a better place for my having been there. That was one of those moments when we, we figured out that CTLA-4 was the brakes on the immune system. I said, well, let's just disable the brakes and see if that will allow the immune system to attack cancer. And it did. Shortly after that, I got a visit from the cap cure in those days. Uh -huh. uh, I said, are you working on prostate cancer? I said, well, not specifically. And they said, well, you should. There's no reason why this won't work for any kind of cancer. About 11 years ago now, we had the idea that we could manipulate these pathways to advantage in treating cancer. After many years of resistance, I think the cancer field has begun to accept immunotherapy now as the fourth pillar, along with radiation surgery and chemotherapy, of cancer therapy. And we have one patient from the phase one trial in 2001 that got a single dose of anacetylate 4 a patient with metastatic melanoma is still around almost 19 years later. So these are very durable responses. We've still got a long way to go. When we're curing patients now. The idea is to learn in detail how it works and bring these benefits to more patients. What would you be doing if you weren't doing cancer research? So I don't really know, but I'd probably be playing harmonica in a blues band. <laughs> I do hope you plan to bring your harmonica to Stockholm when you come in December. I'll bring it. I don't know if I'll play, but I'll bring it. We greatly look forward to welcoming you. Thank you so much. Congratulations Thank you. again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.